from uh, Bend and Lomita United Methodist Churches. This is Pastor Tim coming to you again uh, with great themes of the Bible. Uh, we're suggesting that uh, if you understand something of the great themes of the Bible, that the Bible will be easier to understand and easier to, to read and comprehend. So uh, I recommend too that you study with the group so that you can share experiences and, uh, and share understandings uh, that would help you uh, explore the Bible. It's better than uh, just reading it yourself. It's, if you don't read it at all, though, it'd be good to read, uh, but it's better to have somebody to help you to understand. Today, we're gonna talk about Satan. Uh, Satan is an interesting concept in the Old Testament. Uh, it comes up many times uh, in the Old Testament, uh, talks about evil being incarnate in a person. Uh, at one point, it talks about a fallen angel from heaven. Uh, in Job, it talks about the Satan was with uh, God in the heavenly court uh, and asking permission uh, to do something with Job uh, to prove uh, or disprove his faith. Uh, when everything went well, it's easy to have faith. And Satan says, uh, well, if things don't go so well, uh, he won't, and God uh, allows permission uh, for the evil things to happen. Uh, Satan is also described as the uh, <clears throat> ruler of the of the underworld, the uh, the uh, place of torment and uh, uh, destruction. Um, but it's actually mentioned more in the uh, New Testament than it is in the Old. Uh, so Satan and uh, the devil are mentioned about thirty-five times a piece uh, in the New Testament. Uh, we first hear about Satan when he tempts Jesus. Uh, now, we don't know that there was a physical person out there with him, but we know that Jesus uh, must have been tempted to do other things uh, than his ministry that God had set before him. And in fact, he was probably tempted to quit and do something else uh, many times. Uh, so if you read those uh, temptation stories, you'll find that those are things that tempted Jesus all through his ministry to do something else than what God wanted to do. Um, Paul puts it uh, that Satan, which people turn from Satan to God. So you turn from darkness to light, uh, from destructiveness to constructiveness, to uh, hate to love, um, and that you turn away. But the, we, we know that there's only one God in the universe, and so Satan is not a God. Uh, Satan is a, a being under God, uh, so that Satan will never be victorious. Even in uh, Revelation, when there's such torment and, and uh, uh, chaos, uh, in the end, God wins. Uh, God is in multiple, ultimately in control, uh, so there's nothing that any person can do or anything being can do. Um, I think of the Satan as more being more uh, a collective uh, of, uh, uh, of evil, of, uh, of wrongdoing, of uh, temptation, uh, than a personification with a with a horns and a tail. Um, I kind of like the Calvin and Hobbes cartoon when uh, Hobbes uh, Calvin asks Hobbes if he believes in the devil, and he says, "I don't think that the people need any help." Uh, so we. We create our own evil. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that there's not evil loose in the world that's larger than us, uh, but not necessarily with a personality uh, or with an intention. Uh, but evil is loose in the world, and the part of that is to turn to God um, and to turn away from evil, uh, turn away from that which is destructive and contrary to the will of God. Uh, so maybe that helps a little bit with the concept of Satan. It's not easy. Uh, it's not a simple answer. Uh, it's not a sim simple concept, uh, but a multitude of concepts that we, uh, we attribute uh, evil in the world uh, to a personification. Uh, maybe this will help a little bit. Um, see you next time.